Welcome to Chris Bosch Props. Hello everybody and welcome to Chris Bosch Props. This is my first YouTube channel and I'll be doing a 1987 Robocop suit 3D printed. So welcome everybody to part one of my Robocop build. As you can see here, here's my work table. Here's kind of what I'm starting with. You see a lot of different pieces. These lot of pieces turn into two big pieces, which you can see here are parts of the helmet and parts of the back. So what we're gonna start with and start doing is super gluing all of these together. Some other people use different techniques. They use plastic welding. Um, I'm not sure of some of the other techniques. I've always used super glue and super glue I want to say chemically bonds PLA together in a way where it's extremely strong and extremely durable to the point that if you try to pull it apart most of the time you'll break the PLA before you break the joint that you super glued and I'll show you my technique as we go along here and as we start so the super glue I use is this stuff. You can get this stuff at your local Dollar Tree most of the time. It's about a dollar. To me, I've used Loctite, I've used other brands, and although you do get a strong bond, to me you don't get as strong of a bond by using this stuff. So if you see this stuff and you're into 3D printing and you want to start your build and putting your pieces together, this is the stuff to go with highly highly recommend I think a pack of it is about a dollar generally and you get two per pack it'll go very far but if you are to start I'd probably buy like five or six packs of these with with the two that are in it all right let's get to putting some of this stuff together so you can see what the finished product looks like so here's the front of the Robocop helmet and usually I print large pieces in multiple pieces now I have a original Creality 3D printer and I probably can print the whole helmet in one piece but the problem you're gonna run into with the helmet or large pieces is you're gonna have to use a lot of supports most of the time and when you use a lot of supports 3D printing you waste a lot of material so usually I like to cut the larger pieces up into multiple pieces so I save on using a lot of um, supports you're still going to use support sometimes, but usually it's not as much. So it usually starts like this. This is where I cut it in a program called NetFab. And here's the joint. Here's the line that I'm going to sand all of this with 120 grit sandpaper. Sorry, 180 grit sandpaper. And I just like to sand this edge. And I'll sand both edges on both pieces. There's actually four pieces for this. But I'll do this with all four pieces. And then I'm going to come in and show you what the finished part looks like of the helmet. So you'll see right here, here are the two pieces joined together. What I did is I put a super glue bead on this side where I sanded. I sanded on both sides of this joint. And then the super glue kind of acts like a like a tack weld so only this part right now is glued together these pieces up here as you can tell are not glued together yet but now that I have this tack welded it gives me a good support so what I can do is just do this and I'll run some super glue along that joint and it kind of helps make a nice blush piece once super glued and because this is already tack welded or tack glued in it kinda helps line up your pieces so you're not all over the place when you're trying to glue it I like to just put a little at a time so then I might just put a little bit on this joint right here and then kinda hold it together so it helps align it and then just kinda slowly go through the rest of that piece I mean you can do large sections if you want if you're good I'm not that good so I like to do a little at a time so I don't ruin the piece because I'm telling you once that super glue bonds 
it's imp- you'll destroy the PLA. You'll destroy the plastic trying to break it apart. This will break before the joint breaks. FYI. So here's the chest piece. I didn't do a video on printing this one out. But here she is at the moment. Glued together. Still needs a lot of finishing work done, as you can see. Here's some of my, my piece lines. And what I usually do is I'll fill these in with some putty. And then I'll come back and sand them. I use epoxy putty just because it's structurally sound and it's stronger than just some spot putty. Now some people could put spot putty in there and it would be fine, but for conscience sake, I use epoxy putty. But there she is at the moment, looking really, really good. Looks almost movie accurate. And here's how I'm hoping the suit looks when finished. Something like that. And there she is finished and all super glued. Almost seamless. We'll still have to do a lot of post-processing work, but there'll be another video on how I do that. But so far she looks great. Stay tuned for the next one. Just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in to part one of my Robocop series. This will be part one of many just because this is such a large project to do. Um, I don't know if this YouTube channel is going to have any particular niche, if it's going to be a how-to or 3D printing. All I can guarantee you is that I'll be building some props that I really love and that I really enjoy and that I hope to teach you guys a few things that I've learned along the way.